G'day YouTube. So, my housemate just recently gave me this old Kirby old Charge 3 that uh, he's got. Mm -hmm. It makes a little bit of a vibration y kind of sound in one of the speakers. So, we're going to try and like dampen the speaker with some foam or something to stop that. But the battery seems to be pretty sad in it. I didn't use it for long at all today, and uh, the battery's dead. And I really want to set this up for the Kubota Excavator. So over here we've got our uh, watt hour meter that I got from icstation.com and we're going to turn it off so it's not actually running. Put it on charge and see what it says in the morning after it's charged up. Down that way. So it is charging at 1.9 amps. Uh, I believe they were rated at 10,000 milliamp hours. I'll check that again before we uh, get through this video. But we've got the charging dock up there. We'll see what it does. Get it charged up. And we'll see what kind of degradation the battery's got going on. Whether it just uses a lot of power because it's got two reasonable sized speakers in the face here, or whether it's um, just getting a bit sad, I'm not sure. So we'll check that out and uh, I'll get back to you. So it's a JBL Charge 3. This little beast will be linked in the video description. Right, I'll come back when she's charged probably tomorrow. Alright guys, so it's the next morning. The JBL is just doing a little bit of a top off. It had previously stopped but it just started charging a little bit more again. So it must be right up at its top, top end. It's only pushing in. 0.4 of an amp, but it's pushed in 8400 milliamp hours, and it's only got a 6000 milliamp hour battery, so it actually yeah, probably doesn't have that much battery degradation at this stage, but uh, yeah, you never really know until you test, I guess. Now I know that charging something like this isn't a perfect test of degradation, uh, but it is, does give you a good indication. It lets you know that you know it's not. Um, it's not completely worn out or whatever because if it's uh, if it said that it was completely charged and uh, it pushed a thousand milliamp hours in there you just know that it's completely f flat and not charging up properly so what we'll do is we'll open it up another day in another video we'll open her up see if we can't find somewhere to put a couple of more 18650s or something similar even a pouch if we have to and uh, then we're going to mount this on my Kubota excavator so uh, yeah if you are still charging much more than 6000 milliamp hours um, you're doing well and uh, the battery in this thing seems to still be alright it's done quite a bit of work it gets used pretty much at full volume like we uh, we've always used this one pretty hard I've got a much smaller one which I'll do another similar test on uh, after a full discharge, the, I've got the little JBL flip as well. But, uh, yeah, been a good thing. Uh, the only reason it's got a bit of uh, speaker noise is uh, my mate dropped it while it was going and um, it started making a vibration noise ever since. I think the voice coil might have been like at full extension when he dropped it and it stayed on at full extension or something. Anyway, a bit over. About eight and a half amps going into it, so still in the uh, realms of a good thing. We'll uh, fold her open, see if we can't poke some more batteries in there, or just some bigger ones even. I'm not sure what it runs yet, but we'll do a bit of a tear into it video and see what we can sort out. Thanks for watching. I know it's a bit of a random video, but I thought uh, there's only one way to test the uh, cell degradation. That's to uh, dead flatten it and charge it back up. Thanks for watching. Cheers.